How can massage be good for your uncomfortable, bloated tummy? Watch this video to learn a soothing, pain-free technique to calm your IBS gut. For the most helpful information you'll find about IBS online, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified every Friday when I post a new video. If you're desperate for a way to soothe your IBS flare-ups, by the end of this video, you'll have a new tool to help you calm them down. I'm Wendy Lang, holistic health and happiness coach, licensed acupuncturist, and powerhouse IBS conqueror. And I know how painful IBS attacks can be. I help my clients get them under control, and now I'm sharing with you too. I'm running up my series on IBS therapies, and this week we're talking about IBS massage techniques. If you're in a lot of pain, it might seem like a terrible idea to put a lot of pressure on your belly, especially when you're already super bloated. You might even be wearing extra loose clothes just to avoid anything even touching that area. But what if I told you that massage doesn't have to be painful and that you don't even need to use pressure? I don't believe in no pain, no gain. And this is one of the first things I tell my Acu clients as soon as they walk through my office door. As a holistic practitioner, it's so important for me to work in flow with my clients' bodies instead of against them. And if you imagine how your body tenses up and holds whenever it's anxious or in pain, then you'll understand why causing it even more pain, even therapeutically, is the wrong approach and is counterproductive. So how does this relate to your IBS? Well, there are many different types of massage out there. And if you Google IBS massage, you'll find a bunch of videos that show you how to push and press different areas of your belly to create movement in your colon. The trouble is when that area is already sensitive and in pain, using any amount of force can actually just make you feel worse. Contrary to what the movies will tell you, fighting force against force isn't always the best solution. So what is the best way to massage your IBS belly? Have you ever tried abdominal massage for your IBS? Let me know by dropping a yes or a no in the comments below. So here are my IBS SOS massage tips to help you coax your gut to relax. Tip number one, treat it with love. When your body's in pain and your IBS is flaring up, it might seem like your body's fighting against you, but it's actually just crying out for your help. Your body wants to feel better. And if you treat it with compassion instead of frustration, then you'll start your intention in the right place. Tip number two, be gentle. Our bodies are amazing and they respond to the gentlest of touch. Think about how much better you feel after getting a warm hug or how kids relax into sleep when their parents gently rub their backs. Just by using gentle rubbing motions, you'll be able to calm and relax your gut without using any uncomfortable pressure. Tip number three, use heat. If you run your hands all along your belly, you might notice that some parts of it feel warm, but other parts of it feel cold. In my practice, I actually use this technique to diagnose what's going on with my client's internal organs. If you find a cold spot on your belly, you can incorporate warmth into your massage by either using your warm hands or by adding a heating pad before or after your massage. And tip number four, remember to breathe. A few episodes ago, I talked about how having a regular breathing practice can significantly calm your body and your mind. While your hands are gently coaxing your body to relax on the outside, your breath can help you open up your body from the inside. IBS massage isn't just about literally going through the motions. It's about setting your intention to calm and relax your body and your gut, and then taking the time out to focus on doing just that. So now that I've set you up with my most important massage tips, if you want to know a step-by-step -step instructions on how to do an effective abdominal massage, sign up for my newsletter and I will send you my IVS SOS booklet right to your inbox for free. The link is in the description box below. So abdominal massage is a really great tool to help you calm your gut in the moment, but it is a symptom management tool and it doesn't solve the ultimate problem getting rid of your IBS altogether. And if you've been tuning into my channel, then you know that I always say that IBS is not a forever thing and that it's completely possible to end your IBS story and live IBS free, 
even if you've been struggling for years and years and years. And that's why my program, Conquer IBS Reignite Your Life, teaches my clients not just how to manage their symptoms, but how to actually improve their physical, mental, and emotional health so that they never relapse into IBS again. If this sounds amazing for you and you want my help to help you become IBS free, check out the link in the description box below and learn more about my program. You can either join the regular group program or I've just recently launched a self-study version of the program, which teaches you all of the steps you need to get from where you are now all the way to IBS free. And the link for that is in the description box below too. Oh, and don't forget to sign up for my newsletter so that you can get the IBS SOS massage booklet right into your inbox. Link also below. If you like this video, let me know by liking it below, drop a comment with the word helpful, let me know what your biggest takeaway was, and then make sure that you share it with all of the fellow IBS conquerors that you know, because I want to spread the word that IBS is really not a forever thing, so that we can all beat this together. I've got so many more things to share with you about all things IBS, so make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you've hit the bell so that you're notified every Friday when I post a new video.